This is the 2023 Tennessee Senior Olympics in the cycling event. Uh, lots of people come, even different states. I interviewed a person from Colorado, but it's greatly attended and uh, a lot Podium of competition. Podium one, their, uh, their events at the national games this year, but frankly, there's so many of you, um, it would be like the first three rows. So if you if sat on the podium this year at the senior games, throw my hand up. I know there's some of you in here. Some of you didn't come back, but yeah. let's give them a big round of applause. Uh, it seems strange sometimes when we're on these cycling races. You're out there and you're all by yourself, uh, even though there's a huge crowd that started. But that's the way it goes. Here with uh, we're at the 2023 Tennessee Cycling Championships. We're here with Tom G, who's I've seen in many, many championship <laughs> races. Who's usually out in front. That's just been your, your your position most every race I've seen. Tell us, Tom, about how cycling has been a, a your vehicle to maintain health and fitness, and how it's helped your quality of life. Okay. Uh, well, I you know I've been racing bicycles since I was a teenager, so I've been doing it for I'm uh, 72. Uh, so I've been doing 52 years or 54 years, I can't keep track of it, uh, yeah. but uh, I found the sport uh, after I was a track and runner for many years and uh, I was good at it so I kept at it and it's been a tremendously uh, a big part of my life in terms of uh, uh, an avocation I guess. Uh, I, have a, I was a professional hospital administrator, very stressful job. Wow. and. Uh, uh, cycling became a way for uh, really relieving stress and, and and finding some alternatives to the things that I was doing having to do with work. And so you travel a lot too. Oh you? yeah, I travel quite a bit, and with cycling, it's taken me around the world. I've actually been able to race in other countries and and uh, visit other countries to ride bikes, and uh, so it's been tremendously uh, educational from that standpoint and uh, op eye-opening in terms of. Uh, you know, learning how other country, countries think about things and how you see, uh, you know, Americans in, in the rest of the world. So it's been been great. <clears throat> have you have you found that maintaining health and fitness has helped you in other areas of your life? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it gave me an energy level so I could do my professional job, you know, and uh, and, and being healthy. And I worked in healthcare, so it was really important to try to, you know, emulate uh, good health uh, uh, practices Practice as well. Practice what you preach. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> Well, yeah, and you just won today again. Now, yes, I, I was got lucky this year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had a little bout with atrial fib, so that's kind of you know that's some aging issues that we all seem to have to deal with too. <laughs> well, have you found that you're maintaining your health and fitness helps you get through those issues? That you have? Well, I think so. I think you know whenever you get a, a little health setback like that, it's important that you keep active, and uh, yeah. your your physicians and doctors will tell you you've got to keep. Uh, uh, exercise regimen and that's right. important so yeah I definitely do that and another th we like to ask people is there a belief system something that helps drive you and motivate you and move you in life uh, you know, I don't know I, I mean I've been a very competitive person and I you know I use it as a motivation uh, to you know find competitive outlets yeah. uh, and so uh, you know, I think it's uh, from that standpoint. I really enjoy the interaction with others and and the uh, you know the the structure of the events. Uh, the, uh, the, the cycling is really unique in that you uh, you have to work with the people you're competing against. Uh, at, you know, until the end of the race when you will go at, you know at each other. On but the road race. Uh, so you know, it takes a cooperation and, and ability to work with others yeah. as well. So I think yeah. that's important. That's true. <laughs> Anything you'd say to that person, I don't know, sitting on the couch saying, I don't know, I just don't think uh, Tom can do it, but man, that's... Well, I worked, you know, I worked a job that t took me 60 hours a week uh, to wow. work, and I still found time to ride 15 or 20 hours a week, wow. so it's a matter of priorities, and so I usually try to tell people that, you know, you'll be better off if you uh, get off the couch, yeah. keep yourself healthy, your energy level will be better, and you'll be happier with <laughs> with, with your life, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. That's a great, great point, and uh, any, any other suggestions you want to make to that person? <laughs> It's just a matter of priorities. Is what you what you think is important. You know, if your health is important, then you get up and do it. Yes, very good. Well, Tom, thank you Great. so much. Wow. Thank you. In second place with a time of 8:43, Russell Smith.
and in first place with a time of eight minutes, eight seconds, Thomas G. you for watching redefiningaging.us. I'm John Districk, your host. And our goal for the series is pretty simple. We just want to enhance the quality of people's lives. So if you know of an event that you think would uh, be one for good, uh, good for us to cover, please fill out the form on our website and not only the event, and what it is, where it is, when it is, and uh, if there's a person you know that you think would be uh, a good person for me, us to do a testimony on in some event, please let us know. And if you want a fuller description of my testimony, you can either go to johndisterdick.com and look under ministry, or you can go here at redefiningaging.us. We appreciate your viewership. God bless, and hope to see you on more shows.